Hello in today's video, I'd like to give my two cents in how to ace your front-end system design interview. To be able to receive good feedback for your front-end system design interview, first of all, you need to understand what qualities are these companies looking for in a candidate. The first quality is your ability to deal with ambiguity. When initially given a system design question, it may be a very broad statement of a problem. For example, you may be asked to design a travel search website like Kayak. It is your goal to understand the problem by asking different clarifying questions, understand what use cases to support and what not. Interviewer is looking for your ability to navigate the problem space and figure out requirements, be able to talk to them and scope down the requirements and build consensus. Your goal is to produce some sort of artifact, including requirements for both non-functional requirements and functional requirements. You can refer to some of my previous video. The second quality is completeness. What I mean by that is you're expected to come up with a design that should meet the basic requirements and is at least a reasonable solution. Here are the things that you can probably talk about. You can pause the video here to take a screenshot. The third quality complementary to the second one is to talk about trade-offs and identify bottlenecks and limitations of your current design. System design is all about trade-off and doesn't have an absolute correct answer. Being able to do so demonstrates that you have the knowledge in the front-end domain and that you're able to reuse the established pattern for a certain set of problems. Here are some example topics. For example, when you're asked about how to display more content for big list of data, you may mention that you can use a paginated table or you can use an infinite scroll. When asked about how to design a chat application, you may want to explore the pros and cons of using WebSocket versus using a service and event versus using a long pole. When asked about designing a newspaper, you may want to talk about trade-off between a full client-side rendering versus using a static site a server-side rendering versus server-side rendering with rehydration or a client-side rendering with pre-rendering. I think I'll make another video just to talk about the differences here since they are pretty interesting. And if you're interviewing for a mid-level to senior level position, you would also be expected to proactively mention the trade-offs and talk about how to mitigate the bottleneck. Next, I'd like to break down the timeline during a system design interview. Usually there will be an introduction in the beginning, some warm-up questions, then the system design problem will be presented. Once given the problem, we should spend some time, usually 5 to 10 minutes, to explore the use cases and gather requirements. The discussion should aim at exploring the problem space and figure out what to support and what not. Scoping it down to a MVP version and discuss what to add in the future and ask interviewer if that sounds good. The next phase is to come up with a reasonable design. This usually takes from 15 to 20 minutes. You're expected to cover some of these areas. First of all, you can quickly mention the tech stacks that you're going to use. Briefly discuss the pros and cons of your choice. You can navigate the conversation by saying that you're more comfortable focusing on the front end stack plus the middle tier in this design and assume that backend would return you some data in this format. Next, use this chance to list the APIs that you need and discuss what the request and response data would look like. Sometimes you may want to illustrate the data flow. For example, if you need to preload certain data for your initial routing, define how often is the data calling period. You can also talk about scalability of the data model. Thirdly, you should dive into the front-end component architecture, the hierarchy and composition of these components, and you can draw some diagram that illustrate what state or props each component has, discuss what and how are these properties being passed down to the child components, discuss how the state is managed and how the data gets stored or gets cached. Next, you can discuss the failure modes and how to handle error gracefully. The next section of the interview is to dive deeper into certain areas uh, that the interviewer is interested in. Interviewers may ask some probing questions to understand your knowledge in the front-end space. 
You should be able to listen to the hints that the interviewers gave and adapt your design to the area that they're interested in. Also, try to navigate the conversation to areas where you're good at. Here are a couple of do's and don'ts. It is very easy for the interviewer to tell when you're faking it because the interviewer has probably asked the same question to candidates many times and know the ins and outs of that question. So it is better to be honest when you have a knowledge gap in some area. Focus on the area that you know about and are strong at and navigate the conversation to that. You're not expected to design a database. Be open to discussions and collaborate with the interviewer. You should follow the framework on the previous slide to go through the discussion points. Some of the don'ts include that jumping into the solution without asking any clarifying questions. This could be a red flag. The other red flags are not receiving interviewer's feedback. Many times, interviewer will chime in when they think that the candidate is stuck or going to the wrong direction. Listen to what they care about. Don't get defensive when get questioned. This always make you look bad. In the end, uh, I'm going to attach some example clarifying questions and some example design questions you may encounter. Here are some general good clarifying questions to get started with. Who are the users? How are they using the system? And what do they use the system for? Who are the users? You could be making a product where the majority of the users are developers. For example, you may be developing GCP or AWS. You could also be making a product where the majority of the users are system admins. For example, when you are developing a CMS admin portal. Or you may just be developing a video streaming service where the majority of users are not developers nor system admins. How are they going to use the system? Are they using the system from a mobile device or on a desktop or a tablet? Do they need accessibility support? Are they on a screen reader uh, in a slow network or using a slow device? Do they also use it offline? What do they use the system for? This is to help define the top features that we want to support. And how many users are using this? How big is the data set? And what could happen when everything go wrong? This is a very broad question, but it could be used to talk about the failure mode, error handling, testing strategy, observability, and metrics. In the end, let's quickly look at the two types of front-end system design questions you may encounter. The first kind is high-level design, more like a product design. You may be asked to design a YouTube, design a chat application. Another kind is the low-level design, where you design a front-end component. You can check out my other videos for a deeper dive into the specific design questions. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.